Dan, it looked like that probably went tackle me about the way you guys expected it to, or? Uh, yeah. It was exactly what we talked about doing, so. Um, yeah, like, we weren't sure about the heat, so we kind of made a decision, like, I don't know, like, 1,700 to go, something like that. Uh, maybe later, I don't know. Um, and Evan found himself in the lead. After the cat? I don't know. Maybe right before the cat. I don't know. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I just <coughs> sat there and uh, I think I sat behind Corey at that point and just kind of sat patiently and uh, waited for Jager to kind of start grinding it down. And once Corey kind of dropped off, just got right behind Jager and it was just like practice from there. So. Big smile on your face from across the yeah. line. What's going through your mind? Uh, just. Just really excited, you know. Like had a you know pretty bad experience last year, so feels good, you know. Come back, you know, new coach. Like been kind of tired for a few weeks now, so it was good to like like feel good. I was a little worried about that, but um, yeah, just it's just really fun for Evan and I to train together, and it's like we're gonna spend all summer. Like, Dan, what's been different under Jerry? Uh. Uh, it's just it's just a lot harder for me because I don't have the strength base as a lot of these guys do. Um, so just the volume in their little badger mile thing, like it's a lot more volume than I've done before. The workouts, I mean, they're really hard. So uh, you know, I struggled for the first month in Colorado Springs in January, and I think I remember telling Jerry like, "Don't give up on me. I don't suck this bad." And, um, but uh, things things came around and. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'd just say that the, the volume and the difficulty of the workouts, uh, just because there's so many fit guys, I mean, I'm doing the same workouts as Lopez when he's running 13.06, and I'm not in that good shape, so. Uh. Going to that last lap, you know, you're right on, Evan. Yeah. Um, you know, the first two seconds back, was there any thoughts like, hey, maybe take a shot at this, or was it more or less Yeah, like, I should have. I was the... more concerned with just making the team. Uh, Maybe, like he probably would have held me off, but um, yeah, I, I should have been a little bit more in the race with with 200 to go. I mean, he was right there, and I felt good. Um, but I was, I think, right before the water jump, I looked back and just you know, I just and... needed a spot on the team this year. I wasn't really that concerned with beating Evan, but um, you know, <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah, 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 next time. <laughs> now, or the training is, but there's an advantage to training with all those good people. Yeah, 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 because he. It gives me a lot of confidence. Like, like after I joined the group, I remember talking to to Evan and just kind of looking at his training and being like, if I had known exactly what you were doing last year, I probably wouldn't have gone for the win like I did. Um, but, uh, but like, yeah, just just the quality of training gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, 